Today we went for a long bike ride and we decided to go to visit the town of Hosen, which is a town um, with city rights in the Netherlands in the province of Gelderland. Gelderland. It is located on the Nederrijn River in an area between Arnhem and Nijmegen. The town has a population of about 20,000 people. So basically we left here, turned left and stayed on the bike lane for about half an hour, took another left and there it was, a little old town with um, a centre. And The Nader rain is kind of confusing to me because there are so many versions of the rain. So there's the older rain, the old rain, um, the Kromme rain, which is the crooked rain, rain, <laughs> the Rhine River, and the Nader rain, which means lower rain, but rain, but there's also another one called the lower rain, rain. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> there it is. All right, it's number four. Um, after the evacuation um, from the months of May and June 1945, the inhabitants of, of Betua returned to their ransacked and destroyed homes, as was this family here. And that's one of the examples. Is that the haunted house? I don't think so, no. An English grenade was found on October the 19th, 2008, in a ditch near Bear, Beargarden, River de Ling, which is here. This grenade was still alive and therefore extremely dangerous. The grenade was detonated in Bergen by the Dutch army. <laughs> now that's a German magnetic mine was dug up after the war called Haft Hollandung. These mines were stuck in on the outside of Allied tanks and vehicles would blow these up. Why don't you tell the story about your father bringing home the bomb and on Pete? Yeah, well, yeah, this is, this is one of the the family folklore, my dad and on Pete, brothers in, at arms and brothers in naughty deeds during the war, they were too young to know better. And they found an unexploded bomb somewhere in Utrecht. They thought, oh, this is cool, we're going to do something with this. So they dressed it all up in a girl's clothing and uh, put lipstick and face, painted a face on it, put a hat on its head and, and put it to bed inside the house. You can imagine their parents' shock. When the place was evacuated and the bomb was taken out. <laughs> Not as finding us a house to move oh. into. Okay. Any that we can afford? A million, point one million. Oh, we can get that. 1.18. That's not old enough. I want an old house. Oh, these are nice. Look, this is only 379. Okay. We'll move there. These are nice ones. 2.35. We can afford that. Oh, that's been sold. But it's got a nice little garden. We need a shed. Oh, we need a shed. We need a big shed because we have a lot of stuff. <laughs> There's a shed. You know that one. Well, I think that's too small. We have um, what used to be a windmill. That's the top of it. And there's a huge sinkhole, and it went into the sinkhole. Well, if that's not true, um, well, we don't know. Narda's going to read the sign and find out what that is. The, Vazon the Vazonken Molen, which means the sunk. Oh, I was right, it did sink. It sunk the uh, windmill. Why'd they sink it? In th 1300. Then they sank it. There was, yeah. Why? Oh, this is a monument. Oh. No, I don't know, yeah, there was a monument. There was a, there was a windmill standing here called M M Molen Bay from 1300 to 1929. This is a monument from a guy called Martin von Honor, and he built it in 2005. Why? I don't know. On the way back, we took a different ride. We thought we'd follow the GPS, which was a mistake, and it seems to be that's our pattern. <laughs> so anyway, we found an Aldi and a and a jumbo and had a bit of lunch and continued on, but we finished up riding our bikes for at least two hours today, so that was a decent amount. Um, and um, the weather held too, so it's just been overcast, pretty cold, about two degrees, but 
It's just nice riding. There's no wind. When there's no wind, it makes a huge difference. And here we are home, recovering and eating snacks.